Here we are just going into the Blackwall Tunnel and there's the original entrance to the Victorian Ball connecting the south of London to the north under the River Thames. Today there are two balls, haha, <laughs> very funny, but originally there was just this one which was opened in the May of 1897 by the then Prince of Wales aka Albert Edward, son of Queen Vicky and Prince Albert. In 1901, as the King, he morphed into Edward VII. Nine years later, he had had enough and just went and died. By all accounts, he was exhausted. This construction was a major transport improvement, boosting commerce and trade in the East End of London, let alone the improved travel connections due to the blinking Thames constantly being in the way. At that time, the tunnel supported a mix of foot, cycle, horse-drawn and vehicular traffic. Today, it is only open to motorised traffic, including the 108 bus, as the height limit of this tunnel is only 13 feet 1 inch and the rough height of a London bus is 15, the 108 cannot possibly be a double-decker. Et voila! Today there are two balls available to traffic, one for the southern bound and this one heading north. The traffic is taken under the river linking the borough of Tower Hamlets and the Royal Borough of Greenwich as part of the A102. The north portal lies just south of the East India Dot Road in Blackwall whilst the southern entrance is just south of the O2 on the Greenwich Peninsula. The road is managed by TfL or Trans Sport for London. The original tunnel, yep, this one, took five years to build using the tunnel shield and compressed air techniques. I know I do. The shield was interestingly named after its inventor, Jimmy, better known to his chums as James Henry Greathead. The Greathead Shield. I know it well. Clearing the site in Greenwich involved the three housing of over 600 people, including a house reputedly owned by Sir Walter Raleigh. The project cost a total of 1.4 million and about 800 men were involved in its construction, of which there were seven recorded deaths. Ooh, small fry. No, 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 not the deaths. I mean the upheaval for the tons of local residents, especially if today a third bore was to be added. This northbound bore filters traffic off the A12, making these crossings key links for both local and long distance traffic. The route takes central London traffic to the southeast of London, Kent, and sometimes beyond, like Europe, which we obviously don't talk about anymore. Just kidding! This, the original tunnel, has several sharpish bends along its length, indicating what? A huge impassable bit of rock or something mad like that? No, they were constructed in order to prevent the horses from bolting once they saw daylight in the distance, which is the way of animals. The holdups in and around the tunnel are frankly a nightmare. When the traffic is whizzing through the tunnel, it's a breeze and a dead fun ride. Here we are, sunlight again. Panda! Before we turn around and whiz down the other tunnel, do you fancy a song? Or maybe a cuppa? Pardon? You want an advert? Hmm. Good choice, Bear. That way we get a song and a glass of something rather nice. Try a taste of Marti, the most beautiful drink in the world. It's the bright one, the light one, it's Marti. There's much more to the world than you guess. And you taste it, the day you say yes to the bright taste. Oh